It was cold and stormy, and Heracles slept long and heavily after his laborious search for the cattle. But in the morning he found that the horses which drew his chariot had mysteriously disappeared. In a great fury, he wandered far and wide, until at length he came to another cave in which he found a mysterious creature. She was like a woman from the waist upward, but below that was a scaly snake. He looked at her in wonder, but asked nevertheless, Strange maiden, have you seen my horses? Yes, she replied. It was I who took them in when they strayed this way, but I will never give them up to you unless you wed me according to the custom of this country. Here we are married when we have kissed thrice, and the marriage lasts only for as long as we both wish it. There was no help for it, so Heracles kissed the snake maiden three times and lodged in her cave for three days. At the end of that time she gave him back his horses and before leaving, he strung the spare bow which he carried with him and gave it to her, saying, Lady, I prophesy that you will have three sons. Let the one who can draw this bow as I do come and seek me if he wishes for assistance in winning his fortune. But if he does not come, then let him and no other rule over this land after you. Then Heracles set out once more and this time he reached Greece safely with the cattle. But as he was crossing the Isthmus of Corinth, a giant bandit who had taken possession of the place and stopped all travelers to rob or kill them held him up. Hand all those cattle over to me, he cried, and you shall pass in safety. Never, replied Heracles briefly. Then the bandit picked up a huge rock and hurled it at him. Heracles dodged the great rolling mass and picking it up, flung it back with such good aim that the bandit never again molested travelers. <laughs>